Greetings and salutations, internet friends, and welcome back to another episode of the First Time Film Club. My name is Emily, the titular first timer. This is Matthew, my husband, Cinema Sherpa, and viewer submitted title, The Tinseltown Tour Guide. <laughs> I like it. Mm -hmm. uh, that one was submitted by Dennis or Denny. Uh, Lofstrom, I probably butchered your name and I apologize. You too can have your name or username butchered by me uh, if you <laughs> submit a viewer submitted title for Matthew in the comments below. Uh, for those of you who are new, first off, hey, oh my gosh, how are you? Welcome. Uh, what we're doing here is watching our way through a very long list of movies that typically I haven't seen, but that Matthew has, i.e. Cinema Sherpa. Mm -hmm. That being said, Matthew, what are we watching today? Today we are watching the 2005 uh, black comedy crime mystery, Kiss Kiss Bang Bang. Pew, pew. Yeah. <laughs> and as per usual, I only give you the name, uh, genre, and year of the movie. Uh, you go in with whatever you already know. You tell everybody what you know, then we watch it and we uh, review it. Mm -hmm. So what do you know about Kiss Kiss Bang Bang? So I know that this is a Shane Black joint. I don't know uh, what exactly he did. I'm not sure if he directed, produced, writ, writ, yeah, wrote, nailing it. Mm -hmm. um, but he's had his fingers in it somewhere. I'm pretty sure. I know that Robert Downey Jr. is in this. And I, well, Pippin, we help. Okay, bye. <laughs> Um, it says, I've seen this before. I've seen this before. I don't care well, about you. <laughs> well, damn. BT Dub, that was Pippin, if you don't know. Um, he comes and goes. He comes and goes. They might be making this up, but I think Val Kilmer's in this. Mm -hmm. I, I'm pretty sure I think that that's accurate. Based on what I've seen of Shane Black, he, he goes a little dark sometimes, but I'm into it. Um, But I think I'm going to enjoy it. Okay. <laughs> Is that it? That all you Bold got? assumptions. I don't know. Maybe. We'll see. I'm excited. So you ready to watch the movie? Hell yeah. All right then. Uh, and last but not least, for new viewers, you'll probably see me with my phone in my hand during the movie. It's because I'm taking notes on stuff to talk about after the movie. Indubitably. And other than that, I'm ready to watch. All right. Let's get into it. Here we go. Not for the faint of heart. I call my trick the oh. jaws of death. Oh my God. Oh, God. <laughs> Are you serious? Are you serious? I'm going to be an actress. <laughs> <laughs> so much. Yeah, I slapped that kid. Too. <laughs> Directed by Shane Black. Okay. Mm hmm. This is his directorial debut. Oh. The guy smoking that's oh. Dabney Shaw, my producer. He discovered me. I love him. I can't see him without thinking. Make all the boy moose go. <laughs> Why don't you ask like an employee or something? No, no, they're all busy. Ah! Oh. Uh-oh. Break. Shit, Harry, that shit went wrong, man. That shit. No. We didn't do anything. We are not dangerous. Drop the gun. Hey, lady, gun is not that loaded. Richie, no! <gasps> oh. Oh, beat up on me all night. You want me to give up my partner? You can go spit. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, Martel. <laughs> you got your partner killed. He was in over his oh. head. You knew it. You killed him. <laughs> Sorry. Good luck. So what do you do for a living? Well, uh, I'm retired. I invented dice. <laughs> <laughs> I do a little acting. Titties and a bear. Oh! <laughs> I want to see that movie. Go to hell, Johnny Gossamer. She poured herself into a seamless dress. From the looks of it, she spilled some. <laughs> She wished he was real, wished that he would come to Indiana to save her little sister, Jenna. You see, Papa was at her night after night. Oh, shit. I skipped something. Damn it, this whole robot bit. I made a big deal, and then I, like, totally forgot. 
This is bad narrating. Like my dad telling a joke. What? Wait, back up. I forgot to tell you. Oh no. Oh no. It's real bad RoboCop. <laughs> What's his name? What the hey! Shit. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. You know what? You better be your doctor. Walk away, don't think. Just do it. I will f you up. Uh, doubtful. Walk the f away. Or let you and me go outside right now. Oh no! He tried! Oh! How dare you! That's Tony Stark! <laughs> <laughs> I heard about you. You're the uh, consultant. You must be. Anyway. Gay, Perry? Still gay? Me? No. I'm needy. I just like the name so much. Can't get rid of it. <laughs> Harry, this is our generous host. <laughs> Harlan Dexter. Just him and his born again little bundle of joy. Mm. Two months ago, she was suing him over mom's millions. He called her a, well, a bad word. <laughs> the girl over there, look, she's very pretty. Um, on the left, next to Brazilian Billy Bob Thornton. <laughs> I'll tell you what, if you change your mind about that drink, I'll be over there with Native American Joe Pesci. Huh. Lockhart, are you gonna recognize me or what? Harold the Great, Harmony? you got me in half. God, remember? Yeah. Oh shit! The magician write that. <laughs> that was me. Nah. Uh -huh. Whatever. It's nothing. Here, it's pretty stuff. cool. That was nothing special. It's pretty cool. Well, I think it's special. Punk rock. Steven Seagal thinks it's special. <laughs> Come back to the hotel for a little while. Just have one drink. Bring your friend. Doesn't matter. Well. That was more than one drink. Did she bring her friend, though? These are the important questions. Wait. Oh, no! It's the friend! Eek! I left when you still had your tongue down her throat, Harry. You did? Yeah. Oh, God. No, wrong throat, wrong one. That's nope! <laughs> oh, wow. It's tiny. Is it real? Yeah, it's a Derringer. It's loaded. I call it my f gun. <laughs> because it's only good for a couple shots, and you gotta drop it for something better. <laughs> What's wrong with this car? I think there's a person in there. No, other than the one driving. <laughs> Where'd she come from? Where'd she come from? She She's in the trunk. I had to shoot the locks to get it open. Uh oh. <laughs> hey! Oh! What the hell's oh. going on? Shut up! You idiot! We go right to the cops. So have no trouble believing that she broke her neck before you shot her in the head? What? Oh, God. Where's my gun? I, I got rid of it. You threw it away. You what? I'm sorry. I, I got a little nonplussed there. <laughs> little nonplussed? My $2,000 ceramic vector my mother got me threw in the lake next to the car. What happens when they drag the lake? You think they'll find my pistol? Look up idiot in the dictionary. You know what you'll find? A picture of me? No. The definition of the word idiot, which you f***ing are. <laughs> <laughs> Favorite line of the whole movie. Are you familiar with a woman by the name of Harmony Faith Lane? Well, I don't know. Maybe she had my number. Why? Who were required by law to treat every suicide as a potential homicide. <gasps> I'm really sorry. I gotta go. Yeah. I gotta go. To go. So at this point, are you willing to positively identify this woman as your my sister? Oh, shit! Uh. <gasps> oh! What? Yuck! <laughs> oh, no! 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 Slap her boob! Kill it! <laughs> There's no. What? No, I didn't do anything. What the hell are you? Doing? There's a spy. <laughs> no, you tell me. What kind of talk is that? I can't Where's believe you. Where did the spider go? That's How are y'all having this conversation right now? I'm taking some sweats, all right? Yeah, anything you want to borrow, honey. All right, I'll give them back. No. Yeah, anything in the uh, drawer, if it's in the drawer, it's clean. <gasps> no. 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 What? What, you peed on what? I peed on the corpse. Can they do, like, ID from that? I'm sorry, you, you peed on, on the corpse. So my question is... No, my question. <laughs> I get to go first. I get to go first. This is giving me kind of Guy Ritchie vibes. Oh! 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 Oh!
Kiss. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> I ship it. Um, Are you Perry? We're just running a, you know, the game. The old, Perry, what do you call it? The, you know, what are you talking the old, about, Harry? Bring him in and we push him out. What's you know happening? the old. I'm not gonna lie to you anymore. I mean, I understand if you want to take a swing. <laughs> oh, whoa, bitch. Oh, Merry Christmas. Sorry, I f over. No problem. Don't quit your gay job. Oh, <laughs> zing. <laughs> it's like Robert Downey Jr.'s playing Peter Parker. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> I can see that. Get out of no, my no, no. life! I'm at the airport, right? And I run into Flick and she just. Oh. Fingers. Did I just cut off, cut off your finger? Yeah. Oh my god! <laughs> mm -hmm. Actually, Jesus Christ! I'm gonna drop by. I'm gonna see if I can, you know, stir up the kettle, stick out my hat, and see if anyone shoots at my shoots at it. Maybe you could put the hat <laughs> in the kettle, and if they shoot at it, it'll ricochet. <laughs> just so you know, when you were in the bathroom, he was totally checking me out. What is Harry? it out here? With these, these women. Everybody oh. who hates Harry here, raise their hand. Oh no. See that? Obedient little bitches too. Oh, <laughs> it's a dip. No, frolicking in the lake and shit together. What is that? You're the guys who are wearing the masks. You got. Ah! <gasps> shit! My finger's hanging off. We gotta move on this. Oh, I'm gonna uh, go save Perry uh, really quickly. Uh uh. And then we'll go fix your finger. <laughs> no, this is a bad idea. Shit! Oh! God! Oh! Good lord! LA is crazy! <laughs> Hello? Anyone home? I got a injury. <laughs> it's nothing against your boss. I'm grateful. I just I spoke to him. You'll never have to go through anything like that again. Uh-oh. <laughs> Oh, oh, grab the, and the, and the, and the, and the. So you still here, huh, tough guy? Oh, you got a gun, I see. You are tough. Shit. No. Harry, wipe the place clean and get out of there. I mean, I can't, I want to, but I can't. No, he's got the finger. Asshole has got the finger with the print part. Get the finger, kill the dog, get out of there. No! Shot. Hey, Perry, I shot a guy. I never did that before. Oh. Oh. Um, I guess I'm taking the couch. Yeah, I mean, you can, you can sleep here, but it would only be sleeping here. If that's going to frustrate you. Let's see. Let's see. <laughs> Dream girl, it always happened. This is destiny. Before we do this, uh -huh. I have a little confession to make. Uh -huh. My best friend? friend? Oh my god. Oh my god. He looks sad. He looked sad. You slept with Chuck Chutney. Excuse me. Harry, come on. Do you want your hand? I'm Harry. Yay. <laughs> Guy comes up, sticks a gun to some schmuck's back. Well, in reality, pros like about five feet of separation. Oh, the schmuck doesn't take the gun back and make ah. it eat it. Get it, do you? This isn't good cop, bad cop. This is a New Yorker. <laughs> <laughs> I think that you are bluffing right now. Harry, what are you doing? I'm playing a little game called Am I Bluffing? Where is the girl? <gasps> oh, 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 no! Just, do. Just put in one bullet, didn't I? You I put, put a live one. round in that gun. Oh, yeah. It was like oh, an 8% chance, was it? 8%? Eight? 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 Uh, yeah. Who taught you math? math? more. I don't know. <laughs> eight. Don't talk times twelve. Listen, eight percent. And you stop multiplying. <laughs> Toss it here. Let's see who it is. We're in trouble. Dexter's got us. Oh. That chick in the casket. She ain't even gonna match up with that ringer you've been toting around. What? Look me in the eyes and tell me you've never been with a man. 
Stop helping. Come over here. Stop helping. This is what you want right here. Shut up. Take a look. Take a look. You want some of this right here? Look at this. How about some of this? Some of this. Oh, danger. Thank God you had a gun in there for a second. I thought it was like a gay thing. Like somehow you guys could do that. that cat down because I'm allergic. <laughs> Everything down. I can't believe he told you that. He's alive! In movies where the studio gets all paranoid about a downer ending, so like the guy shows up, he's magically alive. I mean, shit, why not bring them all back? What is that, Abraham Lincoln? Dexter didn't murder your sister. The ringer was a girl named Mia Fry. She wasn't impersonating Veronica Dexter. She wore a pink wig. One day your sister came calling and she saw Dexter in bed with a pink haired girl. It was too much for her. She couldn't handle it and she took her own life. She went back to Indiana for Jenna's funeral. I love my girl. Oh. That was some pretty harsh shit with the old guy back there, right? Shh, shh. <laughs> shit is, 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 what are you is, doing? It's is sacred. I'm just trying to wrap up the movie and leave, leave the people with a message. I work for Perry now. And stop narrating. For all of you good people in the Midwest, I'm sorry we said so much. <laughs> now go. Vanish. <laughs> all right. So that was Kiss, Kiss, Bang, Bang. What'd you think? I enjoyed that. That was that was a whole ball of ridiculousness. And I appreciated it. Uh, uh, so is this, you said this is... Is this noir? No, this isn't noir. This it's is like, a, like black comedy. It's a black comedy, a crime mystery. It's like a comedic take on like kind of like the novels they were reading in the, uh -huh. in the movie. These uh, hard-boiled detective PI novels. What? What? Gum shoes. Whatever you classify this is, I thoroughly enjoy this particular genre. It's it's very it's very specific, I think, but I really appreciate it. Um, I think a couple times, like I mentioned, that it kind of gave me a, a sort of a guy, a vaguely guy Richie in the quick kind of random cuts and like the the text, just just little little pieces of it kind of reminded me of that. Not so much the. Okay. You know, um, it's like Guy Ritchie extra light, <laughs> extra light. Yes, extra light. I like just that. Just a little bit. Just, a, just you know. Um, I but can that. <laughs> I think, as usual, Robert Downey Jr. did a fantastic job. Uh, Val, just love him. Um, go vanish. <laughs> vanish. <laughs> The, there was just a lot of bits that I, I thought were really funny. Um, overall, I, I didn't love the romance aspect of it. However, I <laughs> love that they didn't get together. That made me so happy. <laughs> I was like, yes! <laughs> yeah, um, with Chutney. Yeah, you, you don't do that. Uh, <laughs> but like, and then at the end, like, they didn't get together like they didn't like yeah she was gone like she would did her own thing that just made me so happy subverted your expectations and i was so about it uh no i enjoyed this overall but overall. harry and perry got together harry and, and perry they and that's a partnership that's what did i say early on i said i ship it so there mm. we go 
everything everything came out millhouse everything came up emily so okay <laughs> everything's coming up millhouse <laughs> Uh, what about you? What are your overall thoughts? Oh, yeah. I love this movie. <laughs> it's always been one of my favorites. Just the, It's mostly Robert Downey Jr. Just his uh, the, mannerisms. Yeah. His line his delivery. full delivery is just his isms. Um, I think he did so... And it was so, I think, ag- against his typical character. Or not fully against it, but... Like, you definitely didn't see this super overconfident, cocky, Tony Stark kind of character. He had sprinkles of that, but it was very much kind of cut with that sort of awkward, anxious, sort of dweeb kind of vibe. And I loved it. <laughs> yeah, where he was. He, he said he was channeling he Peter Parker. He wasn't in charge. He didn't. He wasn't. Exactly. Yeah. He, he got his ass kicked, you know? Like. <laughs> Yeah, except in the end, he took all the bad guys out somehow. <laughs> all right, so we both enjoyed it. That's fairly obvious. Mm-hmm. Uh, what, what, what about notes? I think I said it in the beginning. Whenever you saw that it was directed by Shane mm-hmm. Black, this is his directorial debut. Mm-hmm. Uh, he also wrote it. I think he wrote it like several times. Like there were several different iterations of it. I read that when he was shopping around to different movie studios, uh, everybody told him no. Joel Silver. The producer of this movie also produced Lethal Weapon okay. and The Last Boy Scout. So he said yes because he knew Shane Black and agreed to do it. They got Warner Brothers involved, but Warner Brothers didn't want to give them a big budget. Mm-hmm. So that's how they got Robert Downey Jr. Because they liked his audition. They mm-hmm. liked his reading. But... This was back at the time when Robert Downey Jr. had a lot of baggage around him. Cause he oh, had, uh, yeah, because he was having his substance. Yeah, substance abuse, alcohol abuse. like uh, just, and He had just gotten out of prison. So yeah. that's how they got him. They were like, we like him and we can also get him cheap. We can lowball him. Yeah. yeah. Uh. And it's funny that you said you you didn't see him as Tony Stark in this where he's in charge and like confident and... It's funny that you say that because Robert Downey Jr. said that this movie was like his calling card to play Tony Stark. And it's also this movie, uh, John Favreau saw it and was like, that's Tony Stark. And that's when he was like, we need to cast him. And there was that whole thing like, the studios are like, eh, we don't know, he's got a lot of baggage. And mm-hmm. John Favreau's like, no, it's him, it's gotta be him. Things worked it's, out. See, it's just hard for me to see him as not Tony Stark, so I think because yeah, he's such embodies that role. Yeah. He's been doing it for the past, you know, ten years, yeah. ten plus years. That's what I say. Like speaking of Robert Downey Jr. and the problems he was having as a show of solidarity and support, Val Kilmer refused to drink anything oh, as a show awesome. of support. That's so, awesome. When this was screened at the Cannes Films Festival, uh, he got a standing ovation. <laughs> Imagine that. It was great. <laughs> Robert Downey Jr. saw this as his movie. Uh, this movie got him back on the right track mm-hmm. and like put him back on the A-list. Yeah. So because of that, he was always campaigning for Shane Black to be involved in the MCU somehow. Oh, okay. And that finally came to fruition when Shane Black was uh, brought on to write Iron Man 3. But I'm, j- I'm, I'm just kind of looking at that now through a different lens. Like having now seen a few different pre-Iron Man 3 Shane Black movies... I'm just kind of seeing the difference. Okay. We're going to go on a little side tangent here. Okay. Some people give Iron Man 3 shit. Oh. Yeah. I will take Iron Man 3 over Iron Man 2 any day of the week. Hot take. Because I... Here's my reasoning. I don't see Iron Man 3 as Iron Man 3. I see it as Tony Stark 1. Yeah. I mean, it is. It's him learning to... It's not. The, it's, that's the, what, it's the man and, that makes the suit, not the suit that makes the And movie. I say that to say I can now see the Shane Black influence on Iron Man. You know what I'm saying? Like, I see the difference between the other movies. Like, I can kind of see him going into a little bit of the darker aspects, like the, the mental health aspects of Iron Man and sort of focusing on that. So, I, I feel like I can see kind of that progression 
with Shane Black's influence. So, which I could not have if we hadn't been watching these movies. So there's there's my there's my hot take. There's my hot take. I don't know. I think I would agree, just because of the fact Iron Man three delved more into Tony Stark and personal demons and trauma, and it it dealt with that side of being a superhero, mm-hmm. like you know showing his flaws and having the PD, PTSD from the wormhole and everything, mm-hmm. versus the second one which was just you know another Action. villain villain yeah. of the week. Yeah. Um, again, I don't dislike any of the Iron Man movies. I'm just, I will defend anyway, three. Sorry. sorry. As I said, tangent. <laughs> little side tangent there. Has... Related tangent. Anyways. They were willing to uh, use a larger budget if they could get Harrison Ford as uh, Perry. <gasps> they wanted Harrison Ford to be the detective. I, I mean, I can see it. But Val did such a good job. Like I, like I can see Harrison Ford, but I I think that Val was perfect for it. Like, like he's just got that that extra dash of debonair that Harrison <laughs> doesn't. Like Harrison Ford seems more scruffy. Like you know, scruffy nerf herder, if you will. Oh yeah. <laughs> and speaking of uh, other actors playing other roles, do you know who was? going to be Harry to begin with? I'm going to go out on a limb. Paul Rudd. Paul Rudd? Could you see that, though? Yeah, I can see that. I don't know who. Johnny Knoxville. As in Jackass? Mm Mm-hmm. Absolutely not. No. You couldn't see him? No. (laughs) Like, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking about him in... Yeah, Walking Tall. Walking Tall. With The Rock. Yeah. Like, that uh, That wasn't bad. Like, he did it. This guy. Hey, guys, you want me to pop up here and rub my ass on the mic? You like it? <laughs> like, I'm thinking of him in that movie, and he did a good job. I just can't imagine him. No. I think, no. I think they did Robert Downey Jr. Yes. Yes. Yeah, like I said, I think it all worked out in the end. Yeah, everything came out... Yes, right. <laughs> so, did you have any favorite parts? Oh, <laughs> did you have any favorite parts or uh, scenes that stuck out? Oh. I know there was a lot of craziness. There was a whole, a whole bunch. Uh, so I, you know, as always, uh, appreciation where appreciation due. Titties. The him accidentally shooting the guy. <laughs> that that's, just wasn't. That's probably my favorite scene. I wasn't prepared, and yet you saw it. You saw everything being set up for it to happen. Yeah, and I I still think this. It still caught me off guard, even after I've seen this movie probably at least ten times. I thought they had set it up for him to basically pull a magic trick, mm-hmm. to do a sleight of hand and not have any bullets in it, mm-hmm. just to, and then get information out of nope. the guy, and then Perry be like, oh, you're not an idiot. You can be useful. Nope. 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 Just, <laughs> they doubled down on the idiot. <laughs> yep. Just straight up. Yeah, I thought it was going to turn out. He slid a hand and hid the bullet and didn't. Nope. I was wrong. Um, that was. But that's my favorite scene <laughs> because it was. I, I remember so it. So fast. So fast. Yeah, I remember it the first time I watched the movie. I, I just basically had the same reaction you did. It was just like mouth agape. <laughs> like, what the f- Oh, uh, so that one was whew, that one was a whole a whole ass situation. He threw my gun into the lake. <laughs> He's like, "Where's my gun? Don't worry about it. Got rid of it." What? <laughs> um, I'll tell you one scene I didn't care for. Hello. <laughs> He's so needy today. Mm-hmm. Um, I didn't like the fingers. Uh, the finger coming off. I have a thing. The little fingers, little fingers coming off. <laughs> um, I have a thing about phalangeal based injuries. Injuries? Injuries. All right. <laughs> Just thinking about it makes me. Mm-mm. Squeamish. Uh huh. I can deal with most things, but fingers and toes, if they get messed up, I gotta go. I'm out. Um, so I didn't love that, but the dog was really sweet. He was like, I'm sorry I ate your finger. You just seem to be in a bad way. Here's a hug. <laughs> There's just a lot of scenes. If you haven't watched this movie, like, in one sitting all the way through in a minute, go yeah. watch it. It's, you're, it's worth it. Uh, what about you? Any, 
favorite for me? Uh, my favorite scene is the Russian roulette where he actually shoots <laughs> a guy on the first shot. And just his eight percent. Eight percent. Eight percent. Who taught you math? Stop multiplying. <laughs> My favorite line still from this movie. If you look up the definition of idiot in the dictionary, you know what you'll find. It's like, what, a picture of me? No, the de definition of idiot, which is fucking hard. <laughs> Any other notes or comments? Uh, no, I think we covered a lot of it through yeah. our discussion. Well, what about, let's write it. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, I really enjoyed this one. I thought for a second I was going to have to lower rate, I was going to have to write it lower with the romance. Oh, Lord. But then it didn't. <laughs> And shit got awesome. Uh, this is like a 9.2 for me. I enjoyed the crap out of this. They, you know, subverted expectations there at the end. And it's just funny. It's just funny. And I enjoyed it. 9.2. What about you? Nine. Nine. That's solid for you. That's a real solid. solid. Nine. Yep. Uh, I've seen it quite a few times because I really do like it a lot. I'm ready to see some more Shane Black movies. You got me. You got me, Shane. You got a you got a fan. Congratulations, you done it. <laughs> well, do you have anything else? Mm, no, I think that was last thing. <laughs> okay. Oh, uh, Pippin, anything else from you? No, it's about bath o'clock. Okay, cool. Glad, glad you could partake. Like, hey man, high five. That's what's up, dog. <laughs> well, guys, thank you so much as always for watching, for hanging out. Uh, make sure to let us know in chat. Drop us, drop us a few comments there. What were your favorite parts? What are some of your favorite lines? Uh, what would you rate it? Any other Shane Black movies that you would suggest? I know we had a poll not too long ago. Yeah, there's a few more. But yeah, so let let me know. Let me know. What well, what should we watch? And if you don't mind, make sure to like the video. And if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. We certainly appreciate it. It'll keep you up to date on all of the Summerlin-based shenanigans. And uh, do you have nothing else? I don't. Pippin, anything else to... Okay. <laughs> Pippin says he hopes y'all have a great week. You know, <laughs> just, just rock on, guys. Just rock on. I paraphrased. Okay, I'm sorry. Well, guys, y'all take it easy, and we will see you next time with another first time. Bye. All right, go. Vanish. <laughs>